<clears throat> oh, hail and welcome. Welcome, adventurers. Welcome to the continuing playthrough on Bannerlord of the Dung Sniffer Clan. Hail and happy Thanksgiving to any American viewers who might be watching right now. Hello and welcome. I'm back. I'm back on back online. Back on air. Back streaming. Today, Tyke Dung Sniffer may possibly get married. We don't know yet. We don't know. But we're, we're going to be doing a few things today. We're going to be making money and we're going to be getting married, possibly. Possibly marrying off our brother who's... Is it Excal? I think Excal's my brother in this. He's currently running a caravan. So yeah, we've got a few things to do. A few things to do. <clears throat> How is everyone in the clan doing? How's everyone in chat doing, first of all? How are you? Are you all right? <clears throat> uh, we've got Excal, who's currently off running a caravan. <clears throat> Fine. Look at that mustache. That is one hell of a mustache. Grumpy Mom is not yet old enough. Uh, they are holding. They're not yet eligible to be controllable. Uh, Jellyfingers also is not yet old enough. <clears throat> I think Jellyfingers is actually older than Grumpy Mom at the minute. Looks like it, yeah. Uh, we've also got Matta the Spice Vendor, who is currently off. Earning money for the clan. They are running a caravan, which is proving <clears throat> which is proving to be quite profitable. As you can see, we're making a thousand gold per day, so uh, so far so good. So far so good. And we've got Hespidia the dispossessed as well. We might have to get rid of that one. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna be needing her, but uh, <clears throat> we shall see, we shall see. Right, okay, so let's wait here for a minute or two, and let's let some money roll in. I am carrying on with the with the same game as last time, so, um, yeah. Hail and well met, uh, Rachel. Uh, how be ye on this fine day? I be good. I be good. I've got uh, a medieval latte. Did they have lattes in the medieval times? Well, I have. I've got a medieval latte. It is very good. How are you? How How is your day going? Right, so we're just going to wait here for a bit. We're going to let the money roll in. Jellyfingers, hail and well met. Jellyfingers, welcome. Welcome. Happy. We've not got any Americans in chat yet, so um, there's no point me wishing a happy Thanksgiving. But, <clears throat> you know, happy Thanksgiving to all those English people out there, you know, if, you, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving today, happy Thanksgiving. Right, okay, I've got a bit of a latte going on. <clears throat> this should keep me going. Just going to let some money roll in. So, at the minute, we're just sitting in town. Uh, uh, and we've got a caravan. We've got two caravans out there earning money. As you can see, we've got 18.4 thousand. So, we're getting, we're getting a bit of money rolling in. And that will allow me to buy some better equipment, which I'm going to need for today's shenanigans, definitely. Mm. Anyway, anyway, let's crack on. <clears throat> ah, right, okay. Did they have coffee in medieval times? I'm not sure they did. Okay, so let's have a quick look at things. So there's just me in the party at the minute. There's just me on my own, sat in this town. Uh, we've got two caravans bringing in money. Look at this. We've got uh, Excal bringing in 570 gold. And we've got the other one, Mata the Spice Vendor. She's bringing in 339 gold at the minute. Hello there, Metric Brawl. How are you today, Metric Brawl? Hail and well met. How are you? Right, okay. So, should we should we go and have a look? Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I might buy some better stuff. I need to get rid of this. Can you see this, like, bear skin? I'm not a big fan of that. I look a bit like Jon Snow type of thing from Game of Thrones. I don't think it suits my character, that. <clears throat> Rachel's soaked to the bone, but better now I'm warming up and watching. It's a terrible day in England. The weather is shocking. Ah, Metric Brawl's fantastic. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Metric Brawl. Doing good today. First stream in a long time. I think, was it about a week ago when I did a stream? Just busy at the minute. Busy, busy, busy. Her, uh, work, you know, other stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Right, okay then. So what is my character good at? Um, they're good with a bow, which is pretty cool. 
Now, um, that enables me to kill people from afar, which is always a good thing. Um, what have I got? A, no a Norse hatchet as well, and a reinforced oaken kite shield. So I've got a bit of a shield and axe combination going on. Okay, cool. Uh, what's my one-handed skill? 43. Oh, it's not brilliant. I'd like to... I think I should go for like a two-handed sword, though. You know, big... You know, big like Claymore, two-handed sword style. So uh, let's have a quick look, see if we can afford a, uh, a two-handed sword. Um, and then we can get stuck into some action. Right, where's the two-handed swords? Uh, I was just looking through YouTube and saw you went live, so I had to get in. Hey, Metric, how's your day, Metric? There might possibly be a Minecraft stream later. Um, I don't yet know. I don't yet know. Ooh, this town doesn't really sell two-handed swords. All right, okay. Oh, fair enough, then. Let's have a look, see if there's any decent bows I can afford. Uh, at the minute, I've got a balanced, heavy, recurve bow. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good, but in practice, it's not It's not brilliant. It's not exactly, you know, breaking any, rule, you know, breaking any records here. Metric's doing great. Hey, cool, cool. Uh, I've got a large bag of arrows. Do you know what? Actually, I might buy some more arrows because this... I've only got 32 in that. Um, how much money have I got? Um, I'll tell you what, then. Let's have... Let's have... Uh, let's have a look. What are they? Large bag of arrows. So let's see if I can... See if I can buy another bag of them. Metric's just enjoying some cereal. Nice. What have you got? Have you got anything nice? What are they called? Large bag of arrows. Ooh, we might just have to go with bog standard arrows for now. Right, okay then. Uh, uh, we're going to go for some arrows. Let's get some more arrows in me quiver. So this is going to give me a lot more ammunition. So that one, we've got 32 arrows in that uh, quiver. That one's got 27 and 27. So we've got quite a bit of ammunition now. Um, how about we have a quick look at some armor? Hmm. Metrics having some chocolate cereal you found on the shelf of my home. Love this. Hey, nice chocolate cereal. Ooh, can't beat it. Right, okay. What have I got? That leather cap is a little bit a little bit crap, so let's try and should we try and find something a little bit better? Yep. Open mail coif. Well, that's a little bit better. Let's get let's buy one of them. Look at this already. We're we uh, my armor stats are going up, which is what we need. Uh, decorated leather harness. We need... I need to get rid of this. This chained fur cloak. I think it... It, it does kind of look cool, but, you know, I don't like that look. I really don't like that look. Um, caped leather harness. No. Uh, decorated leather harness with padding. Let's have one of them. Let's have one of them. Let's stick that on. There we go. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Look at that. Get in. Getting stronger by the minute. I think that should do it because I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend all of my money at once, right? So let's get rid of them. <clears throat> right. Okay. So we are going to be an archer. We're we're very much archery based. <clears throat> Metric Ball says, "Wait, where is everyone? What do you mean? They're all on YouTube or Twitch? I've um, I've not got chat on screen because it doesn't really suit this game to have it on screen." Right, okay, so let's, uh, should we go and, let's go shoot some, let's go kill some bandits, shall we? Should we go kill some bandits? Let's go, let's go find some bandits to kill. Right, we're looking for a small party of bandits. We don't really want to be messing with, um, you know, huge parties of bandits. Because there's only me at the minute in this. <clears throat> Hello there, Kyle Kelly. Hello. How's your day, Kyle? Are you having a good day today? Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving. Is it me or did Thanksgiving just come out of the blue? It's kind of just crept up on us. It doesn't seem two minutes since Thanksgiving last year. Ah, here we go. Five looters. Right, let's try our luck with these then. <laughs> Hello, traveller. Hello. Hope you brought your purse. You see, we're purse? what you might call brigands. And I'm afraid we can't let you pass <clears throat> without paying us a bit of coin. Bit of coin? I, oh, I left me coin in my other pants. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay you any coin. <clears throat> he must be freezing. Look at him. He's got, his, he's got his chest out. Aren't you cold, mate? Aren't you cold? 
right? We're going to be fighting these dudes. So if you just bear with me, I'm just going to have a drink of latte. Mm. Oh, yes, I have a coffee before every battle. <clears throat> right, okay then. So it's 1v5. I'm on my own at the minute. I've uh, got no men. It's just me, just me. But I'm pretty confident that I can take these five looters. Let's see. Let's see. So, so when you play this game, it's like... It does make sense to actually take part in battles because um, you can do your your skills up pretty good. And at the minute, my archery skill is is terrible. So I'm going to have to be very careful here. I'm going to have to go around these dudes. Oh, missed one. Missed one. Yeah, the, my bow skills are absolutely shocking at the minute. I need to buy better equipment. Need to get better at it. <clears throat> Look at these dudes. <clears throat> oh, my horse hit something. Come on, move, move. They're throwing bricks at me. Right, let's slow down a bit. That'll increase my aim. Oh, my armor's doing a good job, though. It's, it's taking the right pounding. Take that, you fiend. Right in the... I think I shot him in the groin, that one. They're throwing bricks or stones at me. These are just bandits, these, so they're not the most... You know, <clears throat> hey, let's do a celebrate. No! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won one v five, easy peasy. Right, if you take it pretty, you know, if you take things nice and steady in this, you can, you can actually get away with just not having any men. You, but it can get out of hand pretty quick. So, um, well, Forza, hey, just wait until later on. In my other playthrough, my character is so, uh, so well built, uh, he can, he can, he can take on like 30 or 40 people by himself. But at the minute, we tyke dung sniffer. He's, uh, he's not that, you know, he's not that good. As you can see, my, my riding skill and my archery skill went up by three points each in that one. So, uh, nice. Um, uh, let's have a quick look, see if any of this is any good. I'm not going to bother picking up all that rubbish because there's, there's no, there's no point. It's just going to clutter up my inventory. Okay, so I took 20% damage with that, but I'm all right. I'm all right. Let's go. Ooh, six looters. Ooh. Should we go and buy, should we go and try and find a two-handed sword? <clears throat> Stop right there. Oh. This is a robbery. Now, um, I wasn't paying attention there, and 13 bandits have accosted me on the road. Stop right here, this is a robbery. Uh, um, fight me if you dare. Afraid we'll need to make an example out of you then. Don't bother begging for mercy. No, oh, I'm... Oh, I won't. I won't. Right, okay then. So, same again. I'm going to be circling them on my horse, you know, shooting arrows. <clears throat> Horse Archer! Whoa, a bit loud, a bit loud. He's very confident. Come on then, let's let's have at it. Keep moving, that's the key, I suppose. If we can aim for the heads as well. Get some headshots, that might be a, that might be a good idea. I have to admit these uh, these looters aren't really doing that much damage. So at the minute. They're throwing throwing bricks and God knows what. Right, tag dung sniffer. What we got? 13. It's 1v13. What a brave man this tag dung sniffer is. I probably would never take on like 13 bandits in real life. Tag dung sniffer gained a level. That's what it's all about. So yeah. By doing this, uh, by using these skills, like archery skills, if I used a two-handed sword, I'd be leveling up my two-handed sword skill. Uh, um, but right now, my best way of surviving is, is by shooting things with arrows. From horseback! How's my horse doing? It's doing all right. The two health bars in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, as you can see, 
Uh, the, the top one is mine, and the one underneath is my horse. Let's see if I can get that dude. There you go, right in your kneecap there. Right in his chest. Well, let's zoom in a bit, see if I can hit him in the head. Oh, headshot! In fact, you know what? Let's just go and have a... Let's just go and inspect that one. See that? You can't actually see it, but the arrow is sticking right through the back of his head. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Let's do it. Ah, take that! <laughs> One versus 13. Well done. Let's just do a couple of jumps to... Yay! To celebrate. Look at that. Right, so my riding skill went up by seven and my archery went up by six in that one. Uh, and the more outnumbered you are, the more renown and morale you gain as well. So, um, so yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not... I'm not dead. That's that's what it's all about. Um, should we try... Let's try taking some of that then. We can, we can sell some of this to get some more cash. Let's head to Onira. Hmm. Uh, Kyle, hello. Uh, my current character is mostly cunning and social skills. Zero in intelligence, but one focus in medicine. I can recruit low-tier prisoners very fast. Well, shall I quickly show you something? Let me show you something. Let me save game. Our, um, Tyke of Yorkshire. Let's save that. I've got, I think, six different save games. I've... I've Ah, since this came out, this game, I have been playing it non-stop and I've been learning a lot about it and I'll start one game uh, and I'll be like, hmm, I don't like this playthrough, I want to start a new one. Frugal McDougal is my latest playthrough that I'm doing off stream. Let me, let me load this dude. You're going to see some amazing stuff on this character because he's, he's really good with bow um i think i'm currently doing his two-handed up he's got about 5.6 million in the bank uh this clan clan frugal mcdougall or did i call them woodsman i think the woodsman clan are, um they uh they own i think they own like five towns look at that frugal mcdougall in fact let me introduce you to frugal mcdougall first there he is, Frugal McDougal. And he's got like 319 in bow. This this is the one I've been playing off stream a lot. And he's basically, he's got godlike bow, uh, riding, athletics. I've done a bit of smithing as well, like. Um, yeah, but look at the money. Look at that. I'm earning 12,141 per day. Uh, I've got five towns. Uh, I'm currently, am I currently married? <laughs> There's an interesting, interesting uh, character uh, uh, trait with this character. I think this is my third wife at the minute. Uh, these two kids are from a previous marriage. These two are from this marriage. When Frugal McDougall gets bored of his wife, he tends to send them in to battle with no armour on a mule and... Um, yeah, they don't last too long. They don't last too long. Sorry, let me just let me just get rid of this. Uh, let me get rid of this bot in YouTube there. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, um, so yeah, Frugal McDougal is uh, he's kicking ass. He's kicking ass, and uh, I own like five towns, and I've got you know it's it's all doing it's all coming together on this playthrough. But but let's get back. Let's get back to our other playthrough. Uh, uh, the one that I'm doing on stream is uh, is this one. <laughs> Tyke Dung Sniffer. Uh, yeah, by, <clears throat> by playing it so much in so many different ways, I've learnt, I think I've learnt a, a faster um, about, um, you know... Thank you, Jellyfingers. Uh, Jellyfingers caught the bot. Thank you for that. Sounds like a charming fellow. He's a bit of a rogue, is Dougal McFrugal. Uh, Frugal McDougal. Uh, uh, he is a bit of a rogue. <clears throat> but this playthrough, as you can see, let's have a look at my character. Ooh, I need to level up my bow. So this one, <clears throat> at the minute, 
Tyke Dung Dungsniffer of the Dung Sniffer clan uh, is all about shooting people with a bow. I want to transition into two-handed sword, though, because I really like being on foot with the men, you know, cleaving away in, in the front line. I really do like that. <clears throat> what's your... Kyle, How? what's your favourite uh, um, method of killing people in this? Have you got bow? Have you got two-handed? Uh, Varon says, so long. Hello, Varon. How are you today? How are you, Varon? Uh, happy Thanksgiving Day, if you're in America. Right, okay. Rapid fire. I think rapid fire is going to be best. Uh, we need to pick a perk, and I'm going to go with rapid fire. <clears throat> That'll enable me to, um, to uh, what you call it, draw my bow a lot faster, which will increase my survivability, hopefully. Mm, yes. <clears throat> And we're going to stick a... Ooh, two-handed is, is maxed, so we're going to stick an extra focus point in bow. Right, okay. So, back to this playthrough. What have we got? We've got two caravans bringing in a, a paltry amount. 698. In fact, let's... um. While I'm explaining, let's just... Let's, let's fast forward it. There we go. My health is going to go up as well, so this is a good idea. So today, what I need to do, I need to make money. We need to get married as well. So we might have to, we might have to go on the medieval version of Tinder in a minute and try and find ourselves a bride. Uh, um, I don't know how I'm going to use my bride. Maybe we could... If we look for a bride that's good at the merchant skill, uh, we could send her off and she could earn money, you know. So um, Kyle says bow and two-handed axe. Nice choice, Kyle. Nice. Two-handed axe. Stout axeman with a bow for backup. Right, okay. Mm. So should we start looking for a bride? I don't think I've got enough money for, um, you know, to actually get married. But it's not going to stop me from trying. First of all, I need to just look at something. Um, I think I am Batanian. Yes, I am of the Batanian culture. Uh, there's my clan. Clan Dung Sniffers. Can I, that's me. What a handsome chap. Uh, so members, we've got Matter the Spice Vendor, Hespidia, Excal, Grumpy Mom, Jellyfingers. That's my father, me pappy and me mammy. In the story, in the story playthrough in this, they get killed like, um, in fact, let's have a look. Uh, Bordin was the father of Tyke of Yorkshire. He was slain when raiders attacked the inn at which his family was staying. That's like the, that was the sad dramatic start to the um to the story playthrough look at him look at them skills look at me dad he had some right skills he did what was he good at uh two-handed he was good with a pole arm and one-handed good rider he could ride uh but yeah that's me dad and my mum this is my mum she died in the same inn which my my entire family was basically killed uh, what was she good at? She was good at riding. She was a good steward and a little bit of trade. Hmm. Anyway, uh, um, let's go look on the medieval version of Tinder, everybody. We're going to try and find a bride, right? So, obviously, we need... <clears throat> because I'm male, you know, we want to... Obviously, I don't know if you can have a male, you know, same-sex marriage. You can't do that, I think. On Xbox, anyway. Probably there's a... There's probably a mod for that on PC, but I um, can't do that on Xbox, I'm afraid. Uh, so we're looking for a female who is alive, preferably. Um, the culture isn't really important, but should we go for Batanian? We could go Batanian. Uh, uh, I'm Batanian. Um, so we might as well keep it the same culture. For uh, Bearing in mind, this is going to be our first wife. You know, there might be more. There might be more. Who knows? Who knows what stray arrow could take out family members in, you know, in battle. Right. We want um, possibly a noble. Um, 
Now, this bit, um, see, occupation. Faction leader, we're not going to have enough money <clears throat> to marry a faction leader because they're, they're the ones in charge like the kings or the queens of each culture. <clears throat> we are not rich enough for that. Uh, lords and ladies, they're like, they're the posh people of each empire. <clears throat> uh, um, so yeah, we're, we're not going to be going for them. So I think we're going to go for a noble, a noble bride. Hello, Serata. Surprisingly, you're playing another video game. Very nice, mate. Hey, I am loving this. Uh, Bannerlord. Bannerlord. Mountain Blade 2. I've been playing it since the date came out on Xbox. And I love it. How are you, Serata? You doing all right? Hail and well met. Right, okay. <clears throat> uh, should we sort them by age? Right, okay. A little... I need to talk about ages of wives as well. Um, look at that. There's one that's 66 there. Look at that. 66. Let's have a look at her. Whoa. Whoa. Steady, lads. Steady. Steady. She's she's 66. She she must have ex-spouse. All right. So she did have... She. I wonder what happened to him. She probably killed him off or something. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Hello there, chickens. How's your day today? We are on the medieval version of Tinder. We're about to... Well, we're going to try and find a bride. A Batanian bride for my character. Uh, right, so... What do I want for my bride? Uh, it's very important. Down here, you see these left, left-hand side. There are the skills. So, uh, B-Sag. B-Sag. Uh, she's, like, got riding and charm. She's good at them. Ideally... Uh, we want someone who's good at riding, trade, and stewardship. But <clears throat> I can't be that picky because, you know, I'm, um, I'm, I'm broke. We've only got 21,000, uh, uh, so we're going to have to pay a dowry, and I don't think we're going to be able to afford an amazing bride. But, you know, well, let's see. Let's see what's out there. <clears throat> so... Uh, um, here's the list. So we've narrowed it down to these ones. So I'm going to start with the bottom. She's not very good. So what we can do is click on previous page. And this will go through all of them one at a time. And these bits down here, the skill, is what we're interested in. Hello, Mr. New MC. How are you today? How's your day going? Happy Thanksgiving. Right, this one's got stewardship and riding. Uh, this one... It's got stewardship, riding, and charm. Oh, wow. Corrine. Ooh. Corrine is really, you know, she's a really good choice. She's not got trade, actually. This particular one, uh, she's the daughter of um, the Batanian king. So I've not got enough money to, to, <laughs> to pay for her, if you know what I mean. Her, uh, yep. She's got a good, she has got a good bow. Oh, she's got a good bow that costs 70k. I don't think she's going to... I don't think we're going to be able to afford this one, lads. Hello, Venom. How's Venom today? How are you doing, Venom? Right, she's too much. Oh, this one's not bad. 22. Um, she's got trade. Venom, I'm good. I'm good. How are you today? Dylan Applegate. Hey, Tyke, how's it going? Uh, happy Thanksgiving, Dylan. We don't celebrate it in the UK, but I celebrate it with you guys on stream. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. <clears throat> How's your Thanksgiving day going? Are you you eating lots? Are you chilling out? Right, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll add a bookmark. She's got trade. She's got stewardship, and she can ride. Awesome. She's a possibility. Uh, Ladugal, Lad, Ladogual, Ladogual, <clears throat> uh, noble family, this one, she might, she might cost us a bit of cash, this one, I think she's, um, she's probably like a lord's daughter or something, <clears throat> Kyle says, in, if the opinion is a hundred, they will pay you to marry their family, ah, that's pretty cool, uh, however, we're on minus one relation, sadly, so, Venom says, it's good, my aunt and uncle and Ill, little cousin are here today. Hey, hope they're having a wonderful Thanksgiving, Venom. <clears throat> hope all your family's having a good one. 
Right, we can't afford that one. I mean her. I have to be respectful, like. These are ladies, you know. They're not just items to be bought and bartered for. And killed in battle when you get <clears throat> bored of them. No, no. Uh, this one, stewardship. Mm, she's got good stats and stuff, but she's not got um, trade. We want someone who's got trade, ideally. Ooh, Brigham. Ooh, now then, this one's this one's a definite possibility. <clears throat> she's she's a possibility. She's twenty four years old. Hi, welcome to Blind Date. Uh, tonight, tonight's beauty is Brigham. Brigham is a member of the Fen Engal, a noble family of the Batadians. She has the reputation of being ambitious. Ooh, she's twenty four years old. She's from Batania. She's a lady, and she's good at trade. Stewardship and riding. So, do you know what? I think I think she could be the one. Her, her trade stat is better than the other one. Now, a little word about age in this game. <sighs> Up to a certain age, um, you know, having a wife, she will get pregnant. But after a certain age, the, the possibility of that happening diminishes quite rapidly. So... 24 is not bad. 24 is not bad. I think we've got up until about, I don't know, 35-ish, 40. And then you can no longer sire children with these medieval brides. So I think, do you know what? We're going to go for this one. We're going to go for this one. Uh, Brigan. And she was last seen at Nevance Castle. Right, okay. We're going to go and try and find her, okay? Mm. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to afford her, uh, this particular uh, dowry. Her, um, but by gum, we're going to try. Oh, she's she's quite far away. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, do you know what? Um, I've, I've set off rather foolhardly. Um, I really need to go and get some... Uh, <laughs> it would help if I took some food for the journey. Let us take some grain... Uh, just two will do. Or maybe the one. Right, okay. So we're going to try and make it to Nevanst Castle, where our possible future bride awaits. This may or may not work. I don't know. We might not have enough uh, cash to actually, to actually pay for this. But uh, do you know what? <clears throat> we're going to damn well try. We're going to damn well try. Uh, oh, it's 45 years and older. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you, Kyle. So it's any wife up to the age of 45 will bear offspring, will sire children. So 25 is good then. 25 is good. There was one who was 66, so, um, you know, as good as she might be at trade and all that other stuff, She's not going to give us any offspring. And when my character eventually dies of old age, I will play as my child. You know, I will play as my oldest uh, male heir, I think. Hail Excalibur! Good morning to thee! Happy Thanksgiving Day, Excal. How are you, Excal? Hope you're doing well. We're on our way to get a bride. A, um... We've been on the medieval version of Tinder. And, uh, ooh, we're actually here. Right, okay, cool. So, she was last seen in this castle. Oh, you're kidding me. The lord of this castle has forbidden you from coming inside these walls. And the guard sergeant informs you that his men will fire if you attempt to come any closer. So, immediately, we've hit a bit of a snag uh, for this bride. So, she's in there. She, she's in there, right? She's she's in there. Now, the local lord of the castle uh, is not going to let me in. Uh, let's have a look. Request entry. Yeah, he's not letting me in. So what we can do to improve that particular uh, relationship, we can try and find um, a bandit hideout uh, uh, nearby. And hopefully... Uh, um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, 
well, gain entry to the castle because um, she's in there. Oh, there's 19 looters there. I don't really want to go that way. Let's go this way. I'm on my own in the party. I've only got one person. It's a bit because it's cheaper, you see. I don't have to pay wages that way. Uh, obviously, you have to be very careful when you're uh, navigating the map. Right, we need to just ride around until we find a bandit hideout. Um, and that, by, by defeating the bandit hideout, will gain reputation with the local lands, uh, local lords. Yeah. Kyle says, if you die in campaign mode, you can pick your older brother as an heir. Wow, that's pretty cool. I've, let me just have a look at the campaign options that I've got. Um, disable battle death for all heroes. Yep. Clan member possibility death. So that's on. So this is, you can choose um, the difficulty level. Um, I, for this particular playthrough, I started this when I was learning about the game. So I disabled deaths for all heroes. So I could charge into battle knowing full well that I will not, like, die. Um, I'll, ju I'll just get incapacitated, knocked out. Um, right, okay, so... So, I'm just double-checking that I was on... <laughs> just double-check that, because on my other playthrough, I have altered uh, those options. Because <clears throat> I may or may not have been sending my wife into battle on a donkey... With no armor and a dagger. Uh, to, there's no... There are no divorces in this game. Only deaths may release one from the bonds of holy matrimony. So as you can imagine, um, I've had to get creative uh, in getting rid of um, unwanted uh, rides. Like, you know. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Ha 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 ha. Love. Love is in the air. I'm going to try and find um, a bandit hideout. I need to go and, you know, make a name for myself. I need to go and clear out a bandit hideout. I don't think there is any around here. No, no, can't see any. Right, we're going to go back this way. Let us go find some bandits. I really should probably be hiring some men as well. Um... There's eight looters there. Do you know what? I might be able to take them on. Let's do it in daytime, though. Let's just... Let's wander about until the sun comes up. And then we can take on them eight looters. Right, come on. Today's not your lucky day, friend. How about your hand over your silver? No! It'd be a real shame to have to cut anyone's throat. Cut my throat? You couldn't cut your way out of a paper bag! All right, I'll be doing this guy in a minute. Are you ready? Little drink of the latte. Coffee before battle, as always. Ha ha, fight me if you dare, for I am Tyke Dung Sniffer. Kyle, disabled death for your clan members, but a lord with a strong negative opinion, maybe cruel traits, chop your character's head off. Yeah, I, uh, I, in my very first playthrough, I was chopping heads off left, right and centre like it was going out of fashion. However, I, I since realised that it's not a great way of playing in the long run. Um, I might, you know, I might start doing it again, like. Good shot there. That's a fantastic first shot there. My archery skill is... is ooh, headshot. My archery skill is still a little bit rubbish. The reticle doesn't actually close all the way, so I've got to be... Very careful how I do with this. Very careful. Just, <gasps> gotta just shoot them in the groins till they till they go like that dude. Or oh, lucky, get lucky and have a headshot, perhaps. Come on. Oh, right in his uh, right in his eye, I think that one. Right in his eye. Take that, you fiend! I'm doing this for the reputation gain. I want to get married. Ooh, that was a headshot. See that one? Right in his eyeball, that one. Yeah, if you get headshots, uh, um, the damage is like... Well, it's, it's really good. There, uh, there we go. Hey! 
Celebrate! Yeah! Yeah! Look at me! And by doing that, I will have gained some decent levels in my bow and riding as well. Now, riding, the riding skill and the athletic skill. Um, as long as you're killing people with some kind of weapon, your riding or your athletics will go up. Like then, I was on horse, so that's passively doing my uh, riding skill up. Right, I don't want to take any prisoners because they'll just slow me down. Um, how much can I carry? Not much. Let's just take a, let's take what we can. Head back to town and sell it. Ox Hall. Let's go there. Uh, Excal wants a large bag of piercing arrows. I've, I've just been showing people my other save game. And he's, Frugal McDougal, my other character, he's like, he's got top notch everything. He's just, he's just, he's just got everything. A large bag of piercing arrows. Right, okay. Um, let's have a quick look then. Uh, see if we've got a large bag of... Oh, a large bag of piercing arrows. Oh, yeah. I mean, my... I probably could afford, like, one of them. I mean, look at that. I can afford a... No, I can't, actually. That's 71k. Got 29,000. Uh, noble bow, ooh, that's out of my range, unfortunately. Uh, how about a U bow? Ooh, that's pretty good. That's three grand. Do you know what? I think... Oh, this particular bow cannot be fired from horseback. See this little... Yeah, the little horse with the big stripe through it. Can't be used with mounts, so, uh, you know, I can't use that from horseback. Eventually, when my, you know... Her uh, character is a bit, um, a bit meatier, a bit better. Her, uh, I'll be able to use any bow from horseback. Hmm. Right, do you know what? Should we... Um, I think what we need to do is we need to go and talk to the Batanians and do a bit of mercenary work for the Batanians. That's what I need to do. Um, so let's head, let's head up here to the Batanians. My future bride is in a castle that they're not letting me into at the minute, which is a bit embarrassing. Um, so I need to go and talk to um, someone about working for these guys, the Batanians. Right, are they going to let me in the keep? Oh my goodness, I, I have to even have to pay to go in the keep. Right, let's have a word with, um, let's have a word with Al Alsea. Alsea. I don't know you. I suppose you should tell me your name. Aye, I should. I am Tyke Dung Sniffer, and who are you? I am Alicia of the house Fen Uvain. Uh, I'm not bothered about the main story quest. I've done that in, in another playthrough. I'll, I'll do that some other time. I've got plenty of time for that. There is something I'd like to discuss. I would like to enter in the service of King Caladog. My sword is yours for the right sum. We do not need hired swords currently. Oh, they're not at war. Right, so I paid... I paid 500 gold for no reason whatsoever. Right, basically then, we need to just hang around until... Um, until the Batanians go to war. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... Uh, where's Marunath? Where's Marunath? The capital of the Batanians. There he is. Right, we're going to go sit in this city for a bit. And let the money pile in. I'm going to wait until the Batanians go to war with someone. It won't be long. Wars are like... You know, wars are like buses. You can wait all day for a war to come along and then three will come at once. So we're just going to wait here for a bit. Um, is there a... Do you know what? Let's go to the arena and do a... Let's do a tournament. Why not? Let's do a bit of a tourney while we're waiting. Let's gamble. Right, okay then. Tournaments. Uh, I'm in the second... I'm in the second lot. So, um... We're going to skip that round because I wasn't in that one. 
Right, the tournament prize is a rough scale helmet. Ooh, ooh. Right, let's put maximum amount of money here. And uh, let's join. Now, I don't know what weapons we're going to be given, but we'll see. <gasps> What's this? Two handed axe? Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh oh. Have that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bugger. Right, come on! I'm not very good with my axe. Look at that, I've gained two a skill point in that. Take that, you... Take that, what? You, you, you're a tough one. There you go. Round is over. Ha <laughs> ha, we show them! Ah, oh, always, always celebrate, you know, because I might get knocked out in this next round. Right, let's skip these rounds. We're not involved in these ones. <clears throat> uh, uh, hello, Grumpy Puppy. How are you doing, GP? Happy Thanksgiving, GP. Uh, you forgot to add a quarter teaspoon of salt to the pie crust. Everything's ruined. Cantle, Thanksgiving. No! Can't you just, like, sprinkle a bit of salt on top? It doesn't work like that, does it? I know it doesn't. Oh, no. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Pie? What kind of pie? Is pie a, um... Is it a, a traditional thing that you have uh, for Thanksgiving? It's not pumpkin pie, is it? Right, 400 gold. It's blue team versus red team. Mengus. Look at that. We've got Mengus. What's he good at? Let's have a quick look. Uh, pole arm. Ooh, Mengus. He's pretty... He's pretty good. Uh, right, okay then. Let's do it. Let's just hope it's not pole arm. What have I got? A two-handed axe again. Right, where's Mengus? I'm going to single him out. Oh, oh, look at this. This is terrible. I am so slow. This is unbelievable. Whoa, this is absolutely shocking. Get down. Well done, boys. Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Mengus is out. Mengus fell. You all right there, Mengus? What happened? Eh? What happened? He must have not had... It must have been the weapon that he wasn't good at. Pumpkin pie. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Right, okay, let's bang on the bang on the cash. We're making money while we fight. We always have apple pie and pumpkin pie. Ooh, nice, nice. Thanksgiving Day. I bet all your houses are smelling delicious roundabout now. Right, what we got? Two handed sword. I like I like I do like two handed swords. Come on then. Come on then, let's defend. <laughs> Oh, the swing speed is absolutely terrible. Victory! Ah, victory! Right, Batanium Finn. Right, I'm not in this one. Should we watch? Let's watch this round. Let's see who I'm going to be fighting against. One of these two. Oh, nice. Batanium Finn. Oh, I do you know what? I absolutely love these guys. These are my go-to troops. Well, Britannian Finn champions. Those are what I love to to have behind me. You know, in battle, archers the best in the game. Right. Anyway, Child Crone. Hello and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, CC. Let's have a bet. Look at this blood sport. On Thanksgiving Day. Okay, it's Tyke Dung Sniffer in the final versus a Batanian Finn. Fian. I don't know how to pronounce that. I always call them Batanian Finns. Right then, let's go. Two handed axe. Right. Give him the old shimmy like this. Come on then. I always try to. Oh, yes. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Do a jump. There we go. Yay. Tyke the Dung Sniffer has won the tournament at Maranath. Come on. Gained a bit of renown as well for that. I got a rough scale helmet and I've 
made 1,530 from betting on myself. All in all, a good day's work. <clears throat> a good day's work. Happy Stretchy Pants Day. <laughs> stretchy Pants Day. Is that what it's also known as then? I totally get why. You know, Christmas Day. I'm... I'm go oh, man. Do you know what? I am working Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and the day after Boxing Day. <sighs> but I will be wearing stretchy pants come Christmas dinner time. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm working the four days over Christmas. Bit of a bummer. Never mind. Anyway, I just won the tournament at Marunath. Okay, so what were we doing? What were we doing? We need to wait for a war to happen. Uh, in the meantime, by doing that little tournament, I've leveled up some of my skills. Well, let's have a quick look. What's this? Two-handed sword. Uh, increase your swing speed. I go with that one. Get more hits, more DPS, more damage per second. Anyone else need leveling up? No. Jolly good. Just me then. So, we're going to wait here until, I don't know, till, um, till there's a war declared between these. Uh, oh, why is that kicked me out? For some, some strange reason, sometimes while you're waiting in a town, it actually kicks you out of the town for some reason. Right, let me just do something. Let me see. Um, so, Batanian. Right, are they at war? So they're at war with Imard's clan. Right, okay. Um, I don't think that's... I don't think that's enough uh, for me to actually... I don't think they're going to let me um, join in that war. Let's talk to Mengus. It's Mengus from the tournament who got... His ass kicked. Peace to you, stranger. Uh, peace to you. What is your name? I am Tyke Dunstifer, and who are you? I am Mengus. I know, we met in battle just ten minutes ago. I am Mengus of the Fen Gruffendock. There's not a clan of the Batarians who hasn't contributed the skull of one of their champions to our collection of drinking cups. I like this guy. It's just a shame he didn't um, do that well. I like to uh, I like to enter the service of Caladog. My sword is yours. So the war that they're currently at uh, is not classed as like an official war, right? Okay. But what I can do? Hello, a stew. How are you doing today? How's your day going, a stew? What I can do is because the Batanians are at war with this clan, right? I'm thinking. If I go find these guys, uh, maybe Polmark, where were you? Last seen near Arrowmank. Right, let's see where that is. Is that nearby? Oh, yeah, that's not too far. It's not too far. I could get some... Do you know what? I'm going to hire some soldiers. Um, preferably some archers. Uh from this place. Let's go to this place and hire some archers. Excal says, Caladog is always the guy that declares war on me. Caladog is bloodthirsty. He's actually, he's a brutal fighter, is Caladog. I, well, we got our first three men. That's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it though. We need to find more. So where's Cantrick? We need to go to Cantrick. There we go. Uh, Cal oh, Excal says he has 700 troops in your world. <laughs> Aye, some have more troops than others. Look at this. I've got a total of eight men. Get me. Get me. Get me. Right, uh, while we're on our way, we can actually visit a couple more places. Get a bit of... Get a few more men behind me, because I'm... I'm going to go and try and find... The clan that the Batanians are at war with, so I can earn a bit of, you know, reputation points. This is all to let me in that castle to talk to my future bride, you know. She's in there, boy! It's like a, a tin of beans that I just can't get in. She's the beans and I want in, if you know what I mean. Not in that way, though. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Uh, 
Right, we need to recruit some troops. Here we go. Recruit some troops. And I need to go... So, for those that play this game, uh, some of you guys will not need this information. But when you hire troops... Watch this. Let's go to Pencanic. I'll show you something. Oh, let's go to Pencanic. Recruit troops. Right, obviously there's, no, there's aren't any, but... Because of the each each like culture has its own special unit, like it's its own thing that it's good at. These ones are really good at archers, um, and you can only get the special unit from what's called the feudal uh, villages. The feudal ones are the ones connected to castles. So this one, I've already been to this little one called Abcomer. Uh, I now need to go to Inverth. So these ones will have archers, and that's what I'm looking for. I need archers for my little merry band. Aye. So recruit troops and look at these. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. So I always, I always go to the villages uh, that are bound to the castles for my troops. Um, we're going to need some food as well for these guys. Uh, how many days is that? Ten? Oh, we're going to need a bit more than that. Uh, Twenty days until no food. Right, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so we need to be heading over this way to go and find our, uh, what's he called? MN card. MN, oh, is it MN card? Uh, Paul Mark. So, oh, well, any of these guys, to be honest, from this, this clan. We're going to go and try and kick some clan backsides. That's what we're going to do. And they were last seen over this place, around this, these parts. Right, I'm going to have to just... Ooh, Jacqueline. I think that's been... Well, bless my boots. That one's been taken over by uh, rebels. Look at that. Excal says his favourite is Vlandian sharpshooters. Very, very, very accurate. Right, these two villages are ruined, so we just need to keep going round. Ah, Polmark, there he is. <gasps> 44 men. Ooh, this is going to be a little bit dangerous, this. What's he got? He's got 25 infantry. He's got 12 ranged and 7 cavalry. Mm. Our, uh, Kyle says, if you can't pay the troops or the, on the second or the third missed payment, they start leaving and zero mile... They do. Thankfully, I've never touched wood. I've never got to that. I've never scraped the bottom of the barrel yet. Do you know what? It might be better if we go for, for them ones. Or maybe we should just chill out out here. Do you know what? In fact, while we're friendly with these guys, let's head in. Let's just get a few extra troops. Over to even the score. In fact, do you know what? Recruit all. Let's get all of them. Right, that should even the score a little bit. Right, let's go. Uh, let's go have a chat with this guy. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. You got a tiny hint of a German accent, uh, or something like that. I am Tyke Dungstiffer, and who are you? And Paul Mark. I do not believe we have any trouble with you. Hmm, we don't. However, let's have a quick look at Paul Mark's information. You can even see what he's good at before we go into battle. He's part of this clan. And this clan is at war with Batania. And that is why we're targeting these boys with uh, Emin Card's clan. Aye. So, I'm doing this to earn favour with the Batanians, basically. Mm. Look, I don't like the way he stares at me. I'll be doing you a treat in a minute, pal. Right, okay, so. Maybe I should have saved game before I did this. Um, but you know what? Let's just go for it. I'm here to deliver my demands. I offer you one chance to surrender or die. Are you mad? I'm not your enemy. I repeat, yield or fight. And by declaring war on these guys, my reputation with these lot has gone down. However, I'm not bothered because um, 
it's going to impress my future in-laws, you see. Right, okay, and the balance of power is not in my favour. However, I can kill many men on the battlefield uh, in my other playthrough. This one may be slightly different. Paul Mark's party, what's he got? He's got 25 infantry, 11 ranged, that's like archers or um, uh, what they called, um, crossbowmen. And he's got seven cavalry as well. Um, okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to go for it. The cavalry might cause a bit of a problem. Might cause a bit of a problem. So for me, I need to probably... I need to probably take care of them cavalry first. Right. Okay, so we've got... Infantry. We've got infantry. Um, do you know what? I think we might put them in a shield wall. Uh, Make a shield wall! <laughs> yeah. Nice little shield wall there, boys. Um, maybe not. Maybe not a shield infantry. wall. Maybe put them in a, a normal line in front of the archers. Right, okay. This is where you get to, um, you know, this is where you get to position Bowman. all your men. We need to put the bowmen uh, behind, I think, like this. Forward. A little bit higher on the hill. In fact, a tiny bit further back would be a bit better. There we go. Forward. Like that. And we'll put you guys in mm, loose formation. Stand apart. So they've got a bit of room to, uh, to see their targets and so they can all fire at once sometimes when they're in a line formation it, it obscures the view and they can't all fire oh yes efficient tactics oh yes with me tyke dung sniffer Horse right and that's me um Move. so i need to be out front okay ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> we are outnumbered uh but are we outclassed Let's find out. Right, so immediately I need to be taking care of these these um, cavalry. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Come on. Come on now, Tyke of the Dungsteffer clan. Oh, terrible aim. Terrible aim. I've got absolutely shocking aim. Oh, run, run, run. Don't, don't get bogged down there, Tyke. Oh, this is going to be close, this one. It's going to be very close. Oh, he's right on me. I might have to take this guy out first, I think. Now, you can only shoot to the left-hand side, um, as we discovered last week while we were playing. Ooh, I might have to leave them to my... Um, to my bows and to my other boys. Right, I can work on thinning these guys. Come on! Where's the commander? You can actually kill the commanding officer and, um, you know, it kind of sends them into disarray. Oh, this bow is terrible. Let's focus on one guy and try and kill one guy. I'm not doing too good here. Come on! We need to, we need to make an impression. Oh, we're gonna be laughed at. There we go. That's one. I got him. He was my. That, that counts as one. Actually, my um, my archers are doing pretty good. At the top of the screen, there's like um, that bar. The dark blue is mine. The light blue is theirs. And we are actually um, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Now let's find out. If the archers and the, the infantry are worth what I paid for them. Let's just stand behind the archers a minute. Oh, I think my... I think the infantry is being wiped out. Go on, boys. That's it. That's it. Let me go take care of these guys. I think they've done all right. They've done all right. The archers and the infantry seem to have taken care of him. Let me get rid of the... Oh, I've been knocked out. Good luck, boys. Good luck. No, no, leave, leave me here. Leave me here. Carry on without me. I'm just slowing you down. 
Ooh, they seem to be doing all right. Come on, lads. Do you know what? That was... Ah! Ah! Yeah, lads! Ah! Look, I got my sword. Hey! We whip the bastards. I perhaps shouldn't be celebrating because I got knocked out. Anyway, anyway. We certainly did. My, I uh, got some skills out of that one. How many did I kill? I got four of them. Britannian highborn youth. These, I'm quite impressed actually because these are absolutely terrible troops that I've picked up. They're not levelled up at all. Uh, we lost 15 men. We lost 12 Vlandian recruits. Three Batanian highborn youths. These two, Batanian heroes and highborn youths, those are the ones I want to keep. So, you know, fingers crossed. Ugh, well, we survived. Uh, and there's just one left, Paul Mark. So we'll send the troops in for this one. There we go. And... I should have captured him. There we go. There we go. You're my prisoner now. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll take the prisoners. We'll take everything we can, and we'll we'll try and sell it in town. Yeah. That was close. That was close. I got knocked out halfway through. No, not good. This town as well is. Um, it's currently in the hands of rebels. It's not actually owned by one of the big superpowers. So, uh, hmm, oh, that tooltip. Ah, there we go. So it's got 521 defenders. I've only got, what, 22 men? Uh, so we won't be taking that. Uh, um, we might come back later, though. Anyway, we want to go back now with these prisoners and... All the spoils of war. Let us go back. Oh, looks like Malbert's. He's had word of us. He's he's probably chasing us. He's going to try and chase us down. We are going very slowly here. Very slowly because we're going through a wood. We've got prisoners. We're injured. All these things will be slowing us down. Right, we need to get to Pencanuck. There we go. Quick, boys, get to Pen Canuck while you can. Hey, so I can have a. I've got some real custard creams for once. Mm. Real biscuits. Okay, so we defeated them. Um, maybe um, well, let's have a chat with one of these. Let's see if Who we can. And what do you want? Oh, that were a bit aggressive. I'm Tyke Dung Sniffer. Who are you? She's Elena, House of the Fen Engal. I'd like to enter into the service, uh, but they still do not want hired swords, right? So they are not at war with anyone currently, okay? Never mind, we've got a bit of stuff to trade. Her, um, ooh. Ooh, look at these. Ooh, ooh. You should always take all the loot. A little overweight, not to be a big moment speed penalty. I, at the minute, do you know what I've realised in this? At the, at the beginning of every game I play, I always take everything, take everything, take everything. And you get to a point where you've got so much cash, um, it's it's better to give your men the experience points if you've got those perks. Um, but yeah, maybe I should have brought it, never mind. Right, okay, so... Uh, anything better than what I've got? Yep, let's have a little look. Leather scale armor, no. Padded mittens. Nope, mine are better. Mine are better. I do like these, though. What is that? A two-handed axe. Uh, let's have a look. Can I can I have a look at that? Let's see what this looks like. Look at that. Oh, the cow. It's got, like, it's got a right hook on it, that one. Whoa, nasty. Uh, what kind of length is that? 132. Do you know what? I'm going to hang on to that one. I'm going to hang on to that. Um, anything else? Ooh, I've got no companions. Do you know what? Let's just let's flog it. Flog it. Let's get rid of the fish. Let's get rid of that, dude. 
I'm going to hang on to that though, because I might use that in a bit. Two handed um, axe. Very nice. We made six grand. Awesome sauce. Also, we got some prisoners. There we go. Uh, we made ooh, 710 gold. Yay! From that. Anyway, back to town centre. And it looks like one of our characters has levelled up something. Me! It's my riding skill! Right then. So, um, mounted infantry increase your party speed by 30%. I think that's the one we're going to go for. Or I can have in uh, increases carry capacity of pack animals. We're going to go for speed. Speed. Speed equals... I don't know. Uh, speed equals the ability to track down our opponents and escape from our opponents as well. So, um, so yeah. Right, let's have a quick look, see if anyone else needs levelling up. Nope. Jolly good. How's the caravans doing? No, yeah, they're bringing in money. They're bringing in money. Nice. Right, I'm going to have to wait here, though. Uh, um, right, do you know what? Shall we try and go back to the... Um, Let's go back to the, um, what do you call it, the, the castle where our bride was. There she is. Uh, Nevyansk, Nevyansk Castle. We're going to try and get back in that castle. There we go, lads. Come on. That's where we're going. I'm still healing, but that's all right. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just have to keep an eye out for... Um, Bandits and stuff. Why is that not uh, decent like that? There we go. So our future bride is in this castle. She's um, she's in there. Will they let me in though this time? It's still forbidding me. I want in. You know, my wife, my future wife. She doesn't know it yet, but she's in there. Aye. I may be a dung sniffer, but I, I, I have a heart. These buggers, they're not letting me in. Um, and I can't even talk. Your clan tier is not high enough to request a meeting. So I can't even talk to the person. Hmm. Damn it. Right, maybe, maybe we're aiming a bit too high with our, you know, uh, it's only a flesh wound. Tis only a scratch. Maybe I'm aiming a bit high with my, um, yeah, uh, future bride. Like, what was she called? Which one was it now? Um, oh, no, which one was it? I've lost her. Where is she? Brigham. There we go, Brigham. Yeah, she's still in there. She's in there. Uh, maybe if I talk to this guy. Maybe I can, like, get around the fact that I can't get in to talk to her. Nev Nevyansk, right? That's nearby. Right, and what was his name? Let's have a look. Uh, Aradweer. Aradweer. We're going to try and find Aradweer. He is round here somewhere. He's in the vicinity, so... Aradweer, there you go. Hello, Aradweer. Don't go in that castle. I need to chat with you. Oh, I've pressed Alt by accident there. My greetings to you. This guy is the clan leader of my future wife. Ah, there's something I'd like to discuss. I would like to propose an alliance between our families through marriage. My own hand. Well, yes, we were looking for a suitable marriage for Teos. She's not the one that I was looking for, but, you know, she might do. Shall we? Yeah, she's got trade. She's got steward skill. She's 21. Shall we? Let us... Hmm. Very good. Let us... Let us see. Now, question is, how much is he going to ask for? Ooh... I've clicked on auto offer and that'll automatically match what he's asking for. However, this bar should be filling up with green as we near an amicable agreement. 
However, it's not full and I don't have enough. I can't afford her. No, I'm doomed to be single and offspringless. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Right, okay then. So we've not got enough cash to get married at the minute. Uh, that kind of freezes up a little bit, I suppose. Um, let's see. Wait a minute then. Should we? Should we try? Let's chat with him again then. Let's um, let's see if we can get Excal married then. Um, marriage, the hand of Excalibur. Yep, very good. Let us offer. No, no, still not enough. I've only got 41,000 dinars, and... Oh, he's even wanting... <laughs> he's even wanting that weapon that I had my eye on earlier as well. Ah, bugger. We'll not be getting married today, lads. No way. Right. I think at the minute, then, marriage is off the table. We can't really, you know... We can We can get married. We're not rich enough, unfortunately. Never mind. We'll just have to lose ourselves in war and plunder and money for now. Okie doke. Um, right then. Let's have a quick look at the state of this clan. Excal is off doing his caravan thing. Matta the Spice Vendor is off doing a caravan. Expedia the Dispossessed. Um, they're staying at Pen Canuck. Do you know what? I think we might have to get rid of this person. Um, they are absolutely terrible. Or, I suppose we could use them. Um, shall we? We could use them, I suppose. They've got no trade skill, so they're not going to be a very good, um, caravan. Um, hmm... I don't know. Do you know what? Let's recall them to the party. And when they get here, let's just let's just stand still for a minute. They will get here and they will join up with us and then we can decide what we're going to do with that person. They're a bit of a spare wheel at the minute. We might have to get rid of them. I could make them run one of my caravans, but because of their incredibly low trade uh, stat um, it's not going to be profitable in fact let's just have a quick look to see what she is good at so this is the person we're possibly going to be getting rid of in a minute trade she's got zero for trade uh, she's good at fighting with one handed stuff she's good at riding so she's more about fighting than anything else this one mm, I think we're going to have to get rid because how much am I paying per day? 34 gold per day. Ooh, as a Yorkshireman in real life, that hurts. Let's have a wee chat. This is like when you go and... I'm at your service. This is when you go and have a chat with your boss. And he says, I'm, I'm ever so sorry. We've, we've got to let you go. Um, it's nothing you've done. Right, uh... I am no I no longer have need of your services. It's a bit sad when you have to get rid of these. It's gotta be done. What was it? 34 gold per day? I'll be I'll be 34 gold per day better off. I no longer have need of your services. What? Why? Did I do something wrong? See, I don't like this bit. It's horrible. I have to pick a reason why I'm getting rid of her. Um, time has taken its toll on us all. It's your time to retire. You're not getting along with the rest of the company. It's better that you go. I cannot be sure of your loyalty any longer. Your skills are not what I need. <laughs> or, <laughs> I was just jesting. I need you more than ever. Now go back to your job. I think your skills are not what I need, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry. Really sorry. Sorry to have to do this. Right, she's left the clan. Well, I don't know what to say. Goodbye then. 
Oh, it's tough. It's tough being in charge. It's tough. And like that, that person has gone. What time are we on? It's ten to five. Ooh, tomorrow in the Football World Cup. I don't know how many of you guys are watching it. Probably none of you guys. Uh, um, America plays England. That should be a good one. I'm a bit hyped for that. I hope I get a chance to watch it tomorrow. I think it's at 7pm. I'm not sure. Uh, um, but America versus England tomorrow in the FIFA World Cup. The Football World Cup. Should be a good one. I wonder if the American players are going to be like <clears throat> a little bit slow and lethargic after eating all that turkey today. Who knows? It might just work in England's favour. USA! Anyway. Right, so we need to go make some money. We need to make money. We've got a few, we've got a few men. Um, I don't know if I need these men, to be honest. Night Owl! Hello, Night Owl! How are you today? Should be a good game. It's going to be a close one, I think. It's going to be interesting. Right. Uh, so, should we go to the keep? And let's have a chat with one of these. Peace Look. to you, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? Don't you remember? I'm Tyke Dung Sniffer. Uh, can I be... No, they're still not at war. Right, okay. Do you know what? That whole idea of serving the Batanians, I don't think we need to do it anymore. Because we're, we're, we're too poor to get married. Anyway, let's focus on something more fun. Oh, there'll be turkey, turkey, turbo, turkey bow fooled. Will it make it grow faster? We shall see. What kind of sauce do you have with turkey then? Is it? Is it apple sauce? What what kind of like sauce do you guys have with turkey on Thanksgiving? Mmm. Oh, that's good. I'm addicted. Gravy. Now, is it the white gravy? Is it white gravy or brown gravy? Mmm. White gravy or brown gravy? Right, okay. Um, hmm. Gravy usually. Brown gravy usually, so it's the brown stuff. It's not the breakfast variety. See, I remember. I remember stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Cranberry sauce or gravy. Brown gravy. Made from the roast turkey drippings. Oh, yes. Natal says the same. Usually a turkey dripping based gravy. So it's turkey dripping based gravy day. Oh, that sounds sounds really nice. Right. Um, shall I? What we need to do. We need to get stuck in to uh, killing some stuff. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of all these men. Because we don't need them. I'm paying them a wage that I could do. For, I could do this myself. All I need to do is go around finding small bands of bandits and level up my skills. That's what I need to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And to help me do that, um, in fact, I'm going to get rid of some stuff because I can't carry it all myself. Um, do you know what? Let's get rid of one of them. We'll put that on my back because we might we might use that in a minute in battle. Let's get rid of that. Right, there we go. Ready to roll. How much cash have I got? 42,000. Let's have a quick look for some armor. Uh, or oh, maybe horse armor. That might be a good idea. After all, what's my horse looking like? Not much armor on that at all. Batanian horse harness. Yeah, let's get some better um, better armor for my horse. Ooh, I can afford scale barding. Do you know what? I think bugger it. Yeah, why not? Let's let's make the horse a little bit more tanky. Right. Okay. Nice. 
Let's get rid of that. So that's my horse taken care of. That should last a little bit longer. Um, spent eight grand there. Uh, how about I look for some... What do I need? Maybe some shoes. Some nice boots. S scale boots. Ooh, they're six grand. Do you know what? You only live once. Why not? I'll, whoa, I can't... <laughs> Trying to put them on my horse. Let's switch that back. There we go. Some nice scale boots. Right, that'll do. 14,000 I just spent. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Right, we just need to stay in town a little bit while my health goes back up. Um, so let's just stay here. Health is currently on 64. We need that to be on 100. Okay, so here's the plan. Marriage. That's further down the road. We're not yet there for marriage. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make something of myself. That's right. I'm going to... I mean, if this was a film, we'd go into montage mode right now. There'd be a montage of me. We need a montage, you know. There'd be a montage of me bashing bandits' heads in repeatedly. However, this is not a film. So you're going to have to... You're going to have to watch me do it manually, one at a time. Come on then, let's go hunt down some some bandits. So I'm going to have to try and find a small group of bandits. Uh, a small group. I don't want to be taking on like 20 odd men. Anything up to about 10 men I probably could handle, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you're probably going to clip that now, aren't you? And use it in different contexts. Let's have a wander around. Ooh, six looters. This will do. This is a start. The great thing, right there. The great thing this about is this is... They... Whenever you're on your own in this game, bandits see that there's one person in the party and they, they flock to you. They don't run away. They come to you. So it kind of works a bit like a trap, this. So they're a bit cocky when they come up to you like, um, fight me if you dare. Come on then. Right. Now, question is, what do I do? Do I... Do I... Mountain archers! Do I... Do you know what? I'm going to try fighting on foot with this brand new big beast of a weapon thing that I've got. In fact, I might take a few out with my bow before I run. Ah, here they are. Getting better with the bow. It's it's like a little bit more zoomed in. Oh, a couple of headshots there. Nice. Right, let's switch to this, whatever this is. <clears throat> Come on, then. Let's have you. It's reaping time. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, look at that. And by using a different weapon, my uh, my two-handed should have gone up a bit there as well. I got four points for two-handed, one for bow, and five for athletics because I fought on two legs. I fought on the ground. I didn't use my horse, so my athletics goes up instead. Right, what we got? Loads of loads of rubbish. Uh, I'm not going to bother picking that up. I need to stay light and sprightly because it's just me. Great. Ooh, six more looters. Let's go. Today's not your lucky day, friend. How about you hand over your silver? Be a real shame to have to cut anyone's throat. I left my silver in my other pants. Ha ha. Uh, see, it's interesting as well. If I had like a hundred men, his response would not have been that. But because he thinks, he feels a bit cocky. He feels like he can win this. So he's he's... He's like, you know, today's not your lucky day, friend. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We'll see about that. Right, same again then. Shall I try and take them all out with the... with the two-handed <clears throat> hook bill thing, whatever it was. I'd do it on horseback. Horse archers! But it's a little bit difficult swinging and, you know, getting the timing right. Okay, come on. Let's do a celebrate. I'm feeling cocky. Come on. 
fight me! One. Two. Swing. Bada bada. Oh. Three. Run away a little bit. Run away a little bit. Oh, it, de it def deflected that one. Did I do it? Have I killed them all? Oh, poor chap. Look at this guy. I wonder what his last thoughts were. I never thought I'd get beat by one guy. Look at that. Poor bugger. Tell you what, let's just double make sure. Double tap. There you go. Yay. Victory! I win the day. It, it, we're only six, you know. <laughs> I, always do, I always do like a jump, you know. It looks, it doesn't look cool. It just looks, I don't know, head stain. Right, okay, so my two-handed skill went up by seven. My athletics went up by four. So it's it's like a really good way of leveling up stuff, this. The dung sniffers are on the rise. We don't need any of that. In fact, can I take that grain? No, it's too, one too much. I can't carry it all. A clever little trick is... Right, I'll just explain this for anyone who plays this. If there's stuff that you want, but you haven't got the capacity to carry it... I mean, I could, but it would slow me down. Uh, I'd be over-encumbered on the world map, and it'd slow me down, which is not ideal. Um, so, a little trick, what I like to do is... Uh, um, you've got, like, a battle outfit and a civilian outfit. And as you can see... I don't really have anything in my civilian outfit. Uh, um, but what I could do is, we could take these. We could, oh yes. <laughs> That's much better. My dignity is preserved. Look at that. Uh, I can't actually wear the, the torn robe because that is made for battle. It's not made for a civilian outfit. Um, yeah, look at me. Hey, look at that. My modesty. Look at that. What a wonderful, what a wonderful view. Hey, it's one for the ladies there. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. It's not that kind of stream. It's not a hot tub stream. Or a hot butt stream. Right, so it's just a case of right, rinse and repeat. Although my health is on 61%, so... Let's just take refuge in the nearby town. And wait for some time someone's right who's someone's leveled up or someone's got some benefits here right what did i my athletics went up by one so i get to, get to choose a perk uh slightly increase your persuasion chance increase your party size by five increases crafting uh stamina recovery rate you can do blacksmithing. You can make um, weapons in this and sell them. You could live a life as a blacksmith if you wanted. It's a good way of making money. Um, and I've, I've kind of explored it in one of my other playthroughs. But this particular character is terrible at smithing. He's got 11. Um, so yeah, he's not going to be a blacksmith, this dude. So, um, I think we're going to go for that one. I'm going to go for that one. And a quick look. There's nothing else to be leveled up. Uh, this one, however, uh, Excalibur has leveled up with his scouting. Let's very quickly um, pick a perk. Uh, any others? No. Jolly good. So occasionally you, your band of merry men will level up and get better. I'm getting better. Right. We are just resting in Prevend. To recuperate our health. That last group of bandits really took it out of me. Yeah, you're getting better, Excal. Getting better at uh, scouting. Right, nearly back up to 100. There we go, 99, 100. I'm getting better. Right. Tyke Dungstiffer sets out once more. To try to find bandits galore. Now, what I could do, I suppose I could try and find a bandit hideout and solo it. I think I might just have enough, like, health and armor to do that. 
Mm, we've got to try and find one. Oh, oh, these are the. Do you remember earlier when I went to war with um, that other clan? I am still at war with them. Um, so I'll have to be careful around this place. Ooh, 20 looters. Do you think I could take 20 looters? Let's go for it. Let's Stop right there. This is a robbery. Stop right there. This is a ro Well, this is me putting my brown pants on. 20 men. What do you reckon, chat? Do you think I can take these 20? I think I'm definitely going to start with the bow. Maybe thin their ranks a little bit. Then get that bloody big stick thing out and start clobbing them. Shall I go for it? Shall we do it? I'm I'm going to have to now. It's too, too late. No backing out of this one. Might have to have a custard cream before battle. Mmm. Okay. Fight me if you dare. Afraid we'll need to make an example out of you then. Don't bother begging for mercy. Oh, I won't. Too late now. 20 looters versus Tyke Dung Sniffer. Let's go. Horse archers! Horse archer. Now, I definitely need to thin their ranks with a bit of a um, horse archery. Take Dung Sniffer gained a level. Aye. Right. Look at this. I mean, I could just stay on horseback and kill them all like this, but I don't want to do that. I want to level up some of my other skills as well. Come on, boys. We're out for a morning jog. Come on. All of you. They will, they, will, they will sing of this battle in a thousand years. Do you remember the day that Tag Dung Sniffer took on 20, 20 bandit men? I was there. I was that Dung Sniffer. Ooh, completely missed then. Right, we're thinning them down, bit by bit. They're not really taking that much health off me with these stones or whatever they're throwing at me. Doing all right, infinite quiver? No, uh, I think I might be covering it up. I've got 34 arrows left. Die, you bastards! I'm not a bastard. I had a mother and a father. They just happened to die in the first five minutes of this game no it's uh, I, I bought extra quivers uh, so I uh, I have a, a little bit more ammunition than normal you get about I mean a good quiver is like 32 arrows in it I think there is an actual official amount of arrows that you get in a in, in like a proper quiver look at me just casually talking while I'm Oh yeah, it's casually talking while I'm murdering these wee fellas. Right, let's get off this. Switch to this big sticky thing. Have some of that, you, you wee rascal. Have some of that. There you go. What can men do against such reckless hate? Not much. Especially when he's on horseback. <laughs> and he's got about 60 odd arrows. Look at that. One versus 20. Let's have it. And my skills. This is... It's weird. When you play this and you're doing this kind of thing, this grinding, you have to view it as doing your skills up. Um, because that is what it's all about. And that one battle... I've done four skills up. My athletics didn't get much. You only got one. My two-handed went up by three to 66. Riding went up by six. And archery went up by seven. So, yeah. One versus 20. The one one. Hey, Look at that, eh? Prisoners. How can one man take prisoners? I don't 
think that would be a good idea. They did not make a good choice, CC. They did not. They thought, I love how cocky they are when they first talk to you. This, this is a robbery. <laughs> it's not your lucky day, friend. Then, ten minutes later, uh, they're gone. I, <laughs> always makes me smile, that does. Oh, yes, I survived another robbery. Uh, shall I take this? Shall I chuck it? Shall I do... I'll tell you what, we'll do this trick. We'll try and find if there's anything better. Oh, wait a minute. No. Um, did that say that was better? Hold on a sec. Right, we need shoes. Did I put them on? What fine legs he's got. Look at them legs. Fines. Specimen of a specimen. Uh, wrapped shoes, tailored. Right, we've got some. Oh yeah, that's that's all the rage down the down the market these days. Look at me. I've made sure to cover my nipples up as well, you know, so I can go out in public in the market, buy some dung or whatever. Arm wraps. Let's have some of them. Oh yeah, now I look like a street fighter. Yeah, go down fighting at the market <laughs> on a Tuesday night. Uh, that'll do. We'll just not bother with all that rest. I shall be the talk of the market. Right, um, so yeah. Let's have a quick look at our character. So Bo is on 99. And every time you get, you know, every time you do your, your skill up, um, look at this, uh, bow damage plus 10%. When it goes up to 100, it'll go up like by 1%. So gradually, over time, the better you get at the skill. A bit like Skyrim or any other, well, a bit like Stardew Valley, I suppose. The better you are at the skill, the more effective it is. Um, yeah, so by leveling up that and my two-handed, I will become a two-handed archer. Who can kick butt uh, and my riding is going up as well so um oh and i get to spend a focus point as well so let's put one put one in riding there we go all right off we go let's go find let's go so i can i can quite easily kill 20 men so let's try and ooh. a courier arrives bearing a message from monchug he remarks on your growing reputation uh and asks if you would consider pledging yourself as a vassal of the Monchug. You should speak to him in... You should speak in person if you are interested. I don't want to... I don't want to serve anyone just yet. Chalcron says, But why buy it when you can sniff it for free? <laughs> Indeed. That's I'm often down the market just sniffing stuff for free. Aye, why buy it when you can step it? Ooh, eight looters. Oh, do you know what? Stop right there. We're going to do this. This is a robbery. We're going to do this, but we're going to do it on foot. And I'm going to kill them all using that stick thing. I really need to learn what that's called. Mounted archers! The bill hook. I think it's a bill hook. Something like that. I don't know if you could see this. It's pretty dark, this. Right, lads, line up single file, if you please. You dead. Some of that. Oh, bloody hellfire. I think it's hitting two at once when I do that. Oh, that last one. <laughs> Always celebrate. Look at me! I've got one eye! I'm special. Look at him with the bill hook. Look at that dude. Wow. Whoa, I like it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that fierce look in his eye. Watch when I swing this. He's a killer. Tank dung sniffer. Two handed skill went up by six. So, yeah, the more you use it, the more it goes up. So that's, that's a really good thing to be doing early, early game. Um, by the end of it, you'll end up with a character that's like 
Arnold Schwarzenegger, I can do anything. I can use <clears throat> any weapon. I can do anything. I think, I suppose in some respects, this is the the RPG side of it. It's got a bit of an RPG element. 15 looters! <laughs> Hello, traveller. Hello. Hope you brought your purse. Oh, -ho -ho. See, we're what you might call brigands. No way. But I'm afraid we can't let you pass without paying us a bit of coin. Oh, go on. Oh, you rascal, you. I've got the same uh, jumper as you, by the way. The nipple cover. Hi. Bought it down the market. 15 men. Easy. Easy. I've just beat 20. So, you know, this should be easy. Hmm? Horse archers! Right, I'm going to do this one totally with uh, the bill hook. Once upon a time, there was a man who stood... Ah, we sold those bastards! <laughs> it's getting a bit over-enthusiastic, though. We're not, we're not done yet, lad. Once upon a time, there was a guy who stood ah! in the face of certain death and laughed. Ah! <laughs> Have some of this. Oh some of that. I really need my athletic skill to be a bit higher so I can move faster. Because this is not great. Whoa! Shit, I felt that one. Oh! Am I actually pulling away? Look at this. Uh, look at this. Hey, fear not. I can run faster than you. <laughs> Hello, Molly. Happy Thanksgiving Day. I have to be very careful here. My health is like a sliver of what it used to be. Ooh, I have to be very careful. There's no way of regaining health for, um, in battle. Oh. <laughs> oh, sometimes it almost feels like you're there. Let's have a quick look behind me. Come on, lads, let's go for the jog. Hey, we're out for a morning stroll. Did you bring your weapons? Ooh. Oh dear. Do you know what? I'm gonna switch to the switch to the bow. Put a bit of distance between me and this lot. My health is very low. I don't know if you can see that. It's very low. Hello, Molly. How are you today, Molly? How's Molly today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, where's my horse, by the way? Where did I park? Anybody remember where I parked my horse? And don't say, by that tree. Oh, they're throwing rocks at me. This is not good. Where's my horse? Oh shite, this is not good. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get knocked out. To my left! Thank you for that, my friend! To my uh, to my left! <laughs> oh, run! Run! I really I'm gonna die if I'm not careful here. Oh that that was terrible. That was terrible. Oh, no, oh, maybe I've bitten off more than I could chew. Uh, that left is a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> so what we're saying is I'm pretty much buggered. Right, what I need to do is I need to get behind a tree or something. Right, that's one less. Oh, I might just be able to get away with this. To the trees! To the safety of the trees! I need to use the trees as cover. Mm, have I got enough to have a go? That's another one dead. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. If they throw one brick and it connects, I think I might be dead. Molly's really excited for Resident Evil 4 remake. And I love Eddie's outfit. Ah, didn't they? Have they? Is it released yet, Molly? Is it? Is it already out, that? I thought it already came out, that one. Where are you, you little... Ooh, he was just aiming a brick. See that? 
Right, keep running, keep running, ya wee dung sniffer. Anybody seen my horse? No, I lost it a long time ago. My horse is gone. Let's try. Oh, 70, 70, 67 damage. Keep running. <clears throat> We've got to keep out of the the range of these, whatever, whatever it is they're throwing. Look at them. They're chasing me down. There's three of them. Three of them left. Three left. But if one of them throws a rock and it connects, I am knocked out. And I, I don't want to be knocked out. Use the trees as cover. That's one less. <laughs> There's just two of them left. But if one of them, one of them, all it takes is one rock and I'm gone. Do you know what's going to happen, don't you? As as I get to kill the last one, my horse is going to come into view. Right, that's it. There's one left. There's one left. Thank goodness my speed is faster than theirs. Otherwise, I would have been in real trouble. Right, when I get to this bit of path over here, I'm going to turn, hopefully, and fire in some kind of... Yeah... There we go. Oh, headshot. <laughs> that was a battle. 15 men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Bloody hell, fire. That will close that one. Uh, 15 men. Look at that. I got some decent skill levels up for that one. Woo. That was close. That was close. If if there weren't any trees, I think I would have seriously um I would oh, look at that one percent health. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, but the trees are not as broad as he. He has got a little bit of a. He has got a little bit of a slight paunch. He's got a bit of a paunch on him. Hey, that's right. Anyway, we won. Uh, I can't really carry much. Um, whoa, 21 out of 10. That's in the negative. That's a bit weird. Um, that, I think that's because my um, my health is so abysmally low that I, I'm, I've become over-encumbered. So we're going to have to just wait. <gasps> There's a hideout there. We're just going to have to wait a little bit. Till my health goes up. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take refuge in this little village. Wait here. And I'm just going to angle the camera so I can see if any loot has come nearby. Goodness me. Come on, how many people thought I was going to die then? Ooh, that is a caravan of the clan that I declared war on earlier. So, caravans never actually initiate a fight they will not come chasing me so <sighs> a little bit panicky there a little bit panicky right we're up to oh we got we got looters inbound i'm gonna have to move away from that first things first though one of my party has leveled up or gained a trait that's me with the bow right so because i've got to level 100 in bow i could get to choose a perk so what will it be? Merry Men increases my party size by plus five. And if I was a governor of a town, which I'm not, and which I cannot be anyway with this character, because you can only do that with NPCs and companions, I would gain 0 0.5 militia per day. Um, march decreases mounted archery penalties. I think we're going to go with that one, because that fits in with how I'm playing it at the minute. Okay, same again then for two-handed. We've leveled it up. Um, infantry in your party gain plus five experience for each enemy you kill with a two-handed sword. That's not bad. So everything, everyone I kill with my two-handed sword, my if there's any troops I command, they get plus five experience for every kill. So later on, that's going to be worth it, that one. Uh, 200 weapons that can knock down, ignore 15% knockdown resistance. Mm, we're going to go with this one. Yeah. Right, and we've got a bit of an issue here. 
There's 29 looters. Let's see if they... Sp yeah, they're gonna... Oh no, they didn't see me. It's alright, we can stay in the village. We got this. We're, we're alright. That was close. That was close, not gonna lie. Still making cash. Look at this. The money's rolling in. Ooh, got four mountain bandits. Mm, let's just see where they go. No, no. They didn't see me. Oh, maybe they have. They came back. No, oh, no. And they've gone again. Right, okay. No, he's, what the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> Took a bit of a zigzag approach to life there. Right, 42 health. We're waiting here so my health goes up. That's what we're doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. 18 forest bandits. Now, forest bandits, they're a little bit tougher than the looters that we've been fighting. These guys, um, they tend to be like ranged units. Yeah. Uh, bought that armor and back up to 40k again. I know. I'll tell you why, Stu. It's because I've got two caravans. Uh, Early on, I don't know if you play this game, but I definitely recommend if you if you want to make money early on in this game, go for caravans. Don't buy workshops. Get caravans going. They will earn you much more early on. Later on in game, yeah, workshops might be better, but caravans definitely. Caravan for me, ma. Right, we're going to have to leave. I think we're going to have to leave this because I don't like the looks of them. Auto save. Always good to auto save. I think I've got mine set to every 30 minutes. Right, okay, we need to get out of this situation. There's 18 forest bandits. I've got 47% health, which is not great. I don't really want to be messing with them. Um, the forest bandits, they're, um, they're all ranged units, which are archers. And... Um, yeah, the ones I've been fighting up to now, they're looters and they've, you know, they're more melee. Uh, um, so we don't really want to be messing with these guys. So I'll tell you what, let's let's go back this way. Let us wander these, wander these back passages. And let's, in fact, let's take respite in another little village for a bit. Tight dungster fill, let's get rid of that window so we can see... Any approaching units as well. Ah, it's good to rest. It's good to rest in a village. Uh, Food-wise, I've got enough food for 30, uh, 43 days. It's just my health. Just waiting for my health to go up. Excal's just again gained, uh, gained a skill point in scouting. Very well done. Oh, 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 you sneaky little, sneaky little mite. Look at that. He's actually running from that guy, so I don't think he's going to trouble me. No. Phew. Good job, too. There's Excal in the background. You can see him. He's off selling stuff. And there's Matta, the spice vendor. She's off selling stuff as well. Earning cash for the clan. clan how is the clan doing, by the way? Dung sniffers. What are we on? Clan tier 2? So that's yeah, slowly going up. Not as fast as I'd like. I've uh, got two caravans and my party of one. We don't own any fiefs or anything. We've got no workshops. But we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're leveling up our skills. Fine, let's just have a quick look. So we've got 84 for riding, 88 for athletics. These two, um, I'd say athletics... Definitely, that's um, if you're fighting on foot, you need athletics. Uh, whereas if you if you're not fighting on foot, um, you need riding skill. So my bow is pretty good. It's on 100, uh, 102. Two handed's creeping up. Uh, um, with every bandit I smash. So uh, we're going to get back to bandit smashing in a minute. I'm on 85 health. That'll do. Let's let's go. Let's go find some bandits. Let's try this way. Let's try this way. When I first started playing this game, I 
I'd, I'd always be travelling round with like a retinue of men um, until I kind of discovered that you can actually solo uh, quite a lot of this game and it's cheaper to do it because um, you don't have to pay wages or anything ooh 24 24 sea raiders there well I think we'll be avoiding those they're a little bit out of my depth two sea raiders we could take them on um, not in the night time though we're going to follow them until it's daytime and then we're going to attack them in the daylight because I don't like fighting at night it's too dark right there we go chase them down in the daylight so we can see what we're doing yeah what is it now we're here to fight. We are here to fight. Who's we? It's just me. I am here to fight. Surrender or die. You'll never take his life. Well, my hook bill staff thing says otherwise. Horse archers! Now, these guys, these are a little bit tricky. These They use shields. These are a little bit... Whoa! And they throw javelins as well. So we've got to be a little bit careful how we approach these ones. Try and aim for their heads. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, try and aim for his head. Oh, see how the shield, it's, it's a bit tricky sometimes to, to get over the shield. But one tactic I like to use is shoot the, shoot the legs. Shoot their legs. Shoot their legs, take. There you go, shot you in the door. Do you know what? I'm going to take this one on uh, one-handed. Let's choose a nice little place to stop. Fight me. Die, you bastard! See, shield... I mean, these guys with the shields, they, they're a little bit trickier to fight. I broke his shield. Have that. Let's do a bit of defending. Hello, Snake Man C. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Have that. Have that. Another battle won by Tyke Dung Sniffer. And we gained. Uh, Again, a little bit, not too much. I think the skill gains. The, however, I think it's better the more you kill, the more skills you gain. It's weird. Hello, Snake Man C. How are you today? How's your day? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Have you had any turkey yet, Snake Man C? Right. Uh, da, da, da. Let's leave that crap. We don't need that. Load of rubbish. Load of shite. I've got 92% health as well, so we're uh, we're good, we're good. Onward, let's find some more bandits. What is first of all, let's let's learn what the hell that thing is called. A quality short bill. Right. So it's a short bill. Right, okay. Uh, my arrows, I've got two quivers, one's got 32 in it, and one's got 27, so What's that? Uh, 59. Got 59 arrows in total. I actually sold my other quiver uh, by accident. Didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Um, my bow is my best skill at the minute. Uh, Two-handed. Where's my two-handed? 81. 81. Not bad. Not bad. Getting better. Look at that. Awesome. Hello, Rick Gaming. How are you? How's your day going? How are you today? Happy Thanksgiving, if you celebrate it. Right, okay. Let's go find some more bandit heads to smash. In fact, should we go and have a... Let's go have a word with um, the nobles. Let's see if the Batanians have gone to war with anyone. Let's see if I can do some mercenary work. I want to show you guys uh, a siege because. Well, now, stranger. 
Peace to you. You've got big teeth. What huh? is your name? You said that without moving your mouth there, darling. I am Tyke Dungsniffer. And who are you? I'm Lazing of Fen Gael. There's not a clan of the Batanians who hasn't contributed the skull of one of their champions to our collection of drinking cups. That's what that other guy said. Right, we want to be... Oh, they're currently not hiring. Right, okay. They're still not hiring. They're still not at war. Bloody hell, fire. Wow. Uh, uh, Rick Gaming, uh, Minecraft's official YouTube channel is live right now. Awesome source. Great stuff. Woo. Uh, uh, are they announcing anything? Right, okay. So, let's go find some more bandits. So, we can't join with these guys. Um, maybe I should go next door. Um, where's the Vlandians? Let's go, let's go this way. Let's go and see if we can join up with... Ooh, have to be careful. 16 forest bandits might be just beyond what I'm capable of dealing with at the minute. Let's go to Lagata. 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 Ooh, this is a bit close. Let's go see if these, uh, these need a hand with anything. Who are you? And what do you want? Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. I'm not going to steal anything. Chill, chill. Uh, something I'd like to discuss. Emperor Garios. You... Oh, they're hiring. Nice. We could be a mercenary. Yes, well, we do hire mercenaries. Right, okay, I accept. We are now a mercenary of the Western Empire. Okay, right. Ooh, they're announcing a new movement system for mobile. Awesome. Hey, that's cool. Right, I just need some more grain. Need one more grain. There we go. Right, this is where things get interesting, ladies and gents. Let's just see if our kingdom... I now fight for the Western Empire. As a mercenary. A hired sword. And we are at war with the Southern Empire. There are currently no armies. Uh, right, but we are at war with the Southern Empire. Okay, so let's just have a zoom out. See where, see where the Southern Empire is. Right down here. So if I go and hang about, like, down there somewhere. Uh, um, I might be able to join a um, an army. And... Uh, and then we'll be able to get involved in the siege. Because at the minute, I've not... I mean, I could do a one-man siege, but it wouldn't be... Oh, oh dear. Spice Friend has been attacked. One of our caravans has been attacked. But I think... I think she's pulled through. I think she's all right. I think she's survived. Uh, Rick says they've just announced the Avatar DLC for Bedrock Edition on it. Um, oh, the the new film coming out, Avatar, Way of Water, or whatever. Ooh, that's an enemy army there. I need to be very careful here. Be very careful. That is an army of 98 uh, people there. Um, so we have to be very, very cautious. Let's see if... Our side has not made an army yet. What's going on? Come on, guys. Make an army. I want to join an army. I want to kick some ass and join the siege. And Yeah. In fact, do you know what? Let's follow... Let's follow this army. This is our enemy. Um, the Southern Empire. Ooh, got a little bit close then. Ooh. Someone's under siege. Onika Castle. Let's see if we can go and help. Hello there, Steve the Gent. Happy. I don't know you. If you have anything to say, say it quickly. The ravens are hungry, and I would not keep them waiting. This might. I should have been paying attention. This might be a bit disastrous for me. Uh, hello, Steve. Happy Thanksgiving, Steve. Enjoy the turkey. Have a wonderful day. Hope your family's having a good one, too. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, this might be a... Uh, yeah, um, 
All right, what we got then? Uh, he's got ooh, he's got seven cavalry, ten infantry, one ranged. I've just got me. Right, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this one, so we're going to have to attack. Now, you see, what happened was, I was passing through. What happened was, right? I was passing through this little ravine, and I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to chat. And uh, somebody accosted me while I was traveling. These buggers. But fret not. We fought our way out of tighter circumstances. I'm sure we can fight our way out of this one. I'm going to have to rely on the bow. Here they come. Oh, see them swords. I saw the swords. Oh, they're going to try and get me. Now, I don't know how I'm going to I'm going to deal with this. I'm just going to have to keep moving. Oh, he swung, he missed. Oh, that was terrible. Come on, come on. Come on, he's right there. Just aim for the bloke on the horse. Shot the horse in there. Go, 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 go. Maybe I can use my... Yeah, use this hook bill thing. Oh, nasty. I don't think it's a good idea to get too close to these guys. Ooh. Whoa, 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 easy lads, easy lads. Oh my goodness, whoa. All right, all right, all right, less celebration, yeah. Look, I did my best. What did I get? One horse riding skill. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyke of the Dung Sniffers has been captured by the Western Empire or Southern Empire. I don't know which. One of the twain. Uh, after painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, suddenly one of your captor comes near you with an offer. He wants 4,751 gold in exchange for my freedom. Um... I've got enough. Let's accept it. Let's get back on. Let's get back in this. We're not down and out just yet. Nadia's party is raiding Ziesta. Let's 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 help him. Oh, in fact, no. Let's not. Let's just go. Um so we need to we need to join a we need to join an army basically that's what we need to do Ah there is one nice one uh Nemo's army Captain Nemo gathering near Zeochoris Where the heck's that Right that is very near to these guys and I've got to be very careful as I go past these this is the ravine that I, that I got accosted in. Ooh, there's a gigantic army there. 947 men. Do you think I could solo that? Could damn well try. Right, Nemo's army. Here we go. Let's join. Join army. Right, we've just joined an army and there's 637 people in it. Come on, Nemo. Come on, I'll follow you anywhere. Right, okay. We're going to Onika Castle to besiege. Are you ready for a siege, ladies and gentlemen? Because that's what you're going to get. Now, sieges. I love sieges. Uh, this whole medieval warfare vibe I absolutely love. So when a siege starts like this, I mean, look at this. We've got 954 men. They've got 
85. Ooh, there's a couple of armies coming in, though. This is going to be... Oh, my goodness. Right. This is going to be one hell of a dust-up, this one. Okay. On our side, this is all us here, this. In fact, you should be able to... Where am I? Right at the back. Oh, typical. On our side, we've got 1,074 men. On the enemy side, we've got 1,293. The balance of power tips in their favour. But they have not accounted for the fact that Tyke Dung Sniffer is among them. With his short build two handed axe thing. Right, are you ready for a big fight? Are you ready for this? This is going to be huge, this one. Gird thy loins, viewers. Gird thy loins, for here we go. This is going to be interesting. So I'm not in charge of any troops. Or, um, but this is our team. The, 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 the purple, the fuchsia, the pink. The pink. Yeah, that's us. Do you know what I'm going to do? I think I might stay with a group of... I don't know. Let's. In fact, let's go chill out with these archers, these horses down here. After all, I'm on horse, so I think I should hang about with other horses. Right, okay, cavalry units. What are we doing then? What are we doing? Okay, so the enemy is that way. Do you know what? In fact, I got this, lads. Everybody rest up. I'll go probe the enemy. I'll try and... <laughs> I'll try and kill the enemy commander. Ooh, that's a lot of men. That's a lot of men. That is a lot of men. Ooh, that's a lot of horse. That is a lot of horse. Ooh. Right, if I go around the back... Their commander should be around here. Look for somebody who looks slightly different. No, no. Just fire an arrow into the middle of that. Where's that coming from? <gasps> These archers, holy cow. Oh, that's a lot of archers. That is a lot of archers. Go, go, go. Ride, ride. I'm not going to survive this. I should have brought a shield. I should have brought a shield. Use the terrain to your advantage. Did I see? The cheeky bugger. Oh, the cheeky bugger. Kill this horse. Kill this horse. Oh, he's probing me. He's probing me big time. Not going to survive this. I doubt your spear is long enough to kill him by probing him. To the trees! To the safety of the trees! <coughs> Apparently Nemo is saying our plan is to remain on the defensive. <laughs> You're telling me! Let me just think about things up here from this tactical vantage point. I'm not running away. I'm just taking stock. There is a massive battle going on down there. Let me contribute. There we go. Let's see if I can hit anything from here. Oh, look at that. Mighty, mighty bow shots. Hello, cowboy. Hello, cowboy. Totally wasn't thinking this was also a weekday. Hello, cowboy. And happy Thanksgiving! How are you, cowboy? I bet you can't wait. Bet you can't wait for the Thanksgiving Day meal. What day is it today? Thursday. Yeah, well, my uh, my bow shots are not hitting anything. Look at that falling dramatically. Yeah. Which side are we? <laughs> I don't even know which side I'm on. Oh, we're on the purple side, which is losing quite badly. Right, maybe I should... Shall I go out swinging? Should we go out swinging? 
I think we should go out swinging. I mean, I could retreat. If I stay out in this, I'd retreat, but I don't know. That would be dishonorable, wouldn't it? Our plan is to remain on the defensive. They keep saying that. They keep saying that. We're numerically outnumbered. Let me switch back to the bow, see if I can do any damage from afar. Probably not going to be able to do much here. I think their archers are probably going to wipe me out before I get anywhere near any of this. If I could just go and find the enemy commander though, I could seriously change the course of this battle. Oh, sh oh ho, ho, ho. Faster, 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 faster. Faster. Let's take, um, let's take solace amongst our men. Come on, man! I've got I've got horses on me. That's it. I'll, I'll hide amongst our archers. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Switch weapon, switch weapon. Let's help these guys. Try and take down some of these, some of these archers. I mean, cavalry units. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did he come from? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, this is not good. Let's get the short bill out. Come on, let's go for it. Have some of that. Have some of that. Let's go and pick off their commander if I can find him. Look at all these horses. Cowboys just got done crafting three batches of candied bacon for later. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds awesome, that. Candied bacon. Candied bacon. Ooh, la. Come on then. Oh, I killed one. I killed him. I killed him. That's my contribution to the war. <clears throat> That's what they pay me for. Oh, I need to swing a lot earlier. Oh, and a bloody archer took me out. Uh, all right, so let's zoom out. And fast forward. <laughs> Look at this. Go on, boys. I have no idea who's winning. I'm pretty sure we're losing. Oh, look at that. Look at this. This is awesome. This is like, um, I don't know, it's like being a director of your own film or something. Yeah, can we have, can we have more blood? Uh, camera, you know, lighting. More lighting on the left hand side, please. All right, cut. Can we do it again? But like, <laughs> with less bloodshed. How do I go down? There we go. Oh dear. I think, <clears throat> I think our little army is buggered. Let's fast forward. Let's see what happens. Oh, I don't know, the fighting back, the, the point of the fight, but I think there's the last remnants of our little band over here. Look at this. Excuse me. Are they running? I think they might be running. However, I think our troops are running too. Oh dear, I think it's all over. We may have lost that battle. We were outnumbered. Friendly troops are fleeing. We've lost the battle. Ooh, that was a big one, that one. That was a big one. Right, okay. So, we were defending. I killed one person. I leveled up my tactics. Three. Um, then I got knocked out. Um, our team killed or knocked out. 299 of the opposing team. However, we lost 599 who died. 401 were knocked out. Look at these guys. Attacking army. Uh, incapacitated a thousand. And 160 of their guys have leveled up. But 243 of ours leveled up. But half of them are probably dead. Right, we lost. We lost. 
That means I think I might be a prisoner unless I can slip away. I think I might be a prisoner though. But I'm all right with that because as I'm imprisoned, the caravans are still making money. There we are. I am a prisoner. Joron. Joron? Joron. 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 That guy. Yeah, him. Uh, okay then, yeah. Prisoner again. I'm all right with that though. Like I said, uh, my caravans are still out there making cash. So I'm actually earning money at this point. Um, of course, there's the ignominy, uh, the, you know, the shame of being a prisoner. <gasps> After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chance and escape from your captors. You can never keep a Yorkshireman down. Right, uh, let's get to Zionica. Let's just take refuge in Zionica. Well, we still can. Bloody hell. The Northern Empire, they're kicking butt. That were a big fight, that one. Big fight. Oh, let's have a chill a minute. Let's, let's wait here for some time. Let's zoom out. Ah. Thanksgiving Day. It doesn't seem two minutes since the last Thanksgiving Day. I can remember making that thing in um, Minecraft last Thanksgiving. Do you remember? Uh, I made that, like, that painting. I made it into a real scene. Um, that seems like two minutes ago, that. Cowboy says, tell them your bread must be French and your, and your water sparkling. <laughs> you filthy... Pig dogs, I, I fart in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Oh, that's a friendly army. Friendly army. Should we join another army? Should we? Come on, let's join another army. We're still young. We've got our whole lives in front of us. Uh, join army. Let's join these guys. It, right, we're going to do a siege. Is traveling to Onika Castle to siege. We are sieging once more. Right, we encamp outside. Ooh, Joron's army. That's the guy who captured me. We've got superior numbers this time. We've got 608. He's got 319. So he's holding off. He's not actually... He's not diving into this. We might be able to to lay siege to this right you have arrived at Onika Castle ready to lay siege let's go for it attack attack that's what I came here for that's what I signed up for that's what I got dressed up for this morning to kick some ass we're gonna besiege a castle ladies and gents there she is there she is look at that castle she's a beaut and um, we've got to try and get in there. Right, okay. I'm ready. Uh, do you know what? It might be a good idea to stay on my horse. I'll get right up to the uh, castle walls so that the archers can't actually shoot me. I think that's a good idea. Obviously, they right now, I'm a little bit exposed. But if I can get up to somewhere like this... Perfect. Then if I can... In fact, let's just make sure there's no archers. Yep, there's one there. Uh, try and take these guys out. Oh, I can't, can't quite get to him. The ladders have gone up. Go on, lads. Go on, lads. I'll try and keep you... I'll try and keep you covered. It's not easy, like... There we go. Oh, no, he's not dead. He's still alive. Stick your head out. Oh, just missed him. There we go. Got him. Got him. Right, we're going up. We're going up. I'm next. I'm next. Switch to the, the hook thing. Come on, lads. Let's get on there. Let's get in this castle. Let's take this bloody thing. Oh, shite. I'm not sure about this. Can I go back down? Can I go? Oh, 
Maybe let some other people go first. Keep going, boys. This, uh, they're up there. I took a bit of fall damage then. I will assist them in clearing the, um, the surrounding area with the uh, uh, superior archer skills. Yeah, yeah, the, the holding that top bit. Ooh, 95 damage, headshot on one. Right, okay, let's get back up there. Come on, let's get back up. Can't embarrass myself like this. Come on, Bob, hurry up. Get your butt up that ladder. Come on, lad. Right, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in. Come on, start swinging. I got one of them. I'm gonna have to get around this bit. I need to get, that's better, that's better. Ooh, I'm being shot at, being shot at. Where's that coming from? Up above. Right, okay, we need to sort out these guys. That's it. There we go, got him, got him, got him. Any more archers, any more? Can't see any. Oh, all my men have been killed on this thing. This is not good, this is not good. They're gonna be coming after me in a sec. Take that, you fiend. Ooh, they've got arches. I'm sure they've got arches on that actual... On top of that battlement. Let's just, just rest a moment in battle. Oh, no way! No way! What a... What a shoddy way to go down. Anyway, I think we're gonna take it. I think we're gonna take it. I'm gonna fast forward. Go on, lads. Get on them ladders. Go on. Go on. More men pouring in as we speak. We took it. I mean, what did I kill? I got some of them. I got five. Do you remember the siege of... Uh, what's this place? Onika Castle. They will talk of this for a thousand years. I was there that day when we took Onika Castle. I killed five that day. I leveled up three skills. Well done, boys. <coughs> well done, lads. Bloody hellfire. That was a task and a half. Uh, ooh, got some stuff. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to bother with any of that. Actually, do you know what? I will take that. I can sell it. I suppose I could sell it. Banners are pretty cool. They, they like, give you... Additional, see, banner effect, increased range damage, 0.08, which is not great, but it's a little bit of a bonus, so I'll be taking that. Well done. Onika Castle taken. Election started. So after taking the castle, uh, the kingdom... In fact, let me just go... Let me get in the castle. There we go. The kingdom will actually vote on who they're going to give that castle to. However, because I am a mercenary, mercenaries are not included in that vote. Only vassals are included. So this castle will go to a vassal, and it won't go to me. So let's just wait here for some time. It'll announce it in the side bits in a second. Who got the castle? Oh. Damn it. I spent blood. So I did. Hey, never right. What time are we on? Six o'clock. I think we're going to be bringing it to a, a close very soon. Ooh. While you are arrested, you hear the news that a force led by Joron's party has arrived outside the walls. Has it by Jove? Right, we just took the castle. Now we're going to defend it. Ooh, there's a there's a friendly army there. Look at this, that guy just went steaming in. Bloody hell, we took the castle. Somebody else has come to besiege it. And it looks like our friendly army is taking care of them, so hey hey hey! We still have the castle. Bloody hell, this is a hotly contested piece of land around these parts. Holy cow. Uh-oh. 
Uh, there's another big army coming. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Uh. Right, they've finished voting on this as well. Whoa, there's a seriously big fight going on here. This is pretty epic, actually. So they voted and they gave the castle to Achaos. I don't know, don't know who he is, but he's now the owner of this castle. Uh, stop waiting. If I look, Achaos. This is the guy they've just voted to give him uh, the castle. I spent, I spilled my blood for this guy to own this, so I hope he's appreciative. Have I got a good reputation with him? No, zero. That's a bit terrible. How old's this guy? Twenty-eight. A young slip of a lad. He's not even married or anything. Now you see, if I was a female character, I could I could marry this guy, and you know live at this castle. Um, but I'm not, so I can't. Hmm. The vessel with the pestle has the brew. That is true. I. <laughs> the vessel with the pestle has the brew. That is true, for the brave and true. Right, I think we might actually... What time are we on? Six minutes past six. I've been watching quite a bit of the Football World Cup and, and Brazil play at seven, so I might I might start to wrap things up, I think. I don't think there's going to be a Minecraft stream today. I think everybody in America will be busy with, you know, uh, Thanksgiving Day anyway today, so um, I don't know. It's probably best not to do a Minecraft stream because... There'll be hundreds, hundreds of young'uns off school wanting to join, so maybe next week. Maybe, I think Monday. Monday will probably be the next day I stream. Uh, can't stream tomorrow. Busy day tomorrow. Uh, um, so, yeah, I think, do you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll save game right here, then. We'll save game, and we'll call it a day. Uh, uh, how long's this been? Two and a half hours. Tyke of Yorkshire, save. I need to change that because it's Tyke Dung Sniffer, actually. Anyway, anyway, awesome sauce. Arend, hello, Arend. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I was just telling everybody <laughs> that I'm going to be ending the stream now. Hey, how's your day, Arend? How are you? Hopefully, hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, um, it's been another busy week for me, so I've not been able to stream much. Uh, um, but today I've done what two, nearly three hours of Bannerlord. Um, there will be no Minecraft stream now. I'm gonna gonna relax and take it easy. Uh, might even go to the shop get a beer or something. I don't know. Anyway, Arend. Hopefully, you and your family are having a wonderful day. All the Americans are celebrating. Uh, um, Thanksgiving Day today, so they're all they're all going to be tucking into their dinners. Is it? It's like midday. Uh, it was midday, isn't it, in America right now? So they'll be eating the turkeys about what three o'clock in about three hours' time, four hours. Anyway, yeah. Did I save it? I did, didn't I? Let me just double and make sure. I can't remember what I just did. Arend, it was good to see you too. Hail and well met. Yes, um, I've been wearing me, me, um, me hard hat because we've been in the wars today. We've been in the wars. I was there at the siege of Onira Castle or something. Onika Castle, that's the one. I was there. I climbed the walls. I was <laughs> not the first over the wall, uh, but I was there. I did go over the wall before I got knocked out, and yes. When I awoke, we'd won the day. I think it was all down to me, really. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, I think the next stream will be on Monday. Um, oh, it's between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, dinner time depends on the family. There you go. So, oh, so yeah. So the window is 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Wow. So some people have it in the morning. Wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I wish all you lovely Americans a very happy Thanksgiving Day today. Uh, um, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do one tomorrow. 
Um, but Monday, Monday, next week, we're going to, I think, um, yeah, working, what am I working? Sunday. Um, so I think I should be able to, should be able to stream Monday and through the week. We shall see. We shall see. Until next time, hearty adventurers. Thank you for watching. And, um, oh yeah, I've got another mouse, haven't I? I keep forgetting. I've got, I've got like two mice. Have, um, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. Wear your mask. And if you're first up the wall, be careful. It's dangerous up there. And have a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving with your family. I'm out. I'm going to go chill now and watch Brazil play football and probably win. America play England tomorrow. Come on, England. Come on. That should be good. Anyway, I'm off. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Fare thee well. Fare thee well.